Hey there, I'm Vicki Howell here for WonderArt.com and I'm going to give you the full scoop on how to use your WonderArt latch hook kit. From setup to latching to some tips and tricks about finishing up, I'm going to lay it all out so you know exactly how to make one of these adorable yarn works of art. Let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to know is what comes in the box, right? So every kit, no matter which one you pick, comes with a gridded piece of canvas. And then you're going to come with several of these little yarn bundles. And they'll, they'll all look exactly the same, so you don't need to worry about that. And I'll talk a little bit more about how to use those later. Then you're going to have your instructions, which will include a fully colorized line-by-line -line chart. And that's everything in the actual box, but you are going to need a couple extra supplies. You're going to need some masking tape. I have this artist tape, but it really doesn't really matter. It's just to finish the edges for now so it doesn't snag on anything. A latch hook, again, whatever kind that you prefer, you can get them at your local craft store or on our website. And then some kind of writing tool, optional pencil, marker, whatever you have. I think that's everything that we need to get started, but now we need to set up, so let's take a closer look. Our first setup step is to take a look at our canvas. Every kit comes with a gridded canvas, and you'll see these blue lines right here. And each square that you see has 10 mini squares across and down. So that's just your general guideline. To prep, you want to, as I mentioned earlier, put some tape around the edges. And all that does is just to make sure it doesn't snag on anything while you're working. All right, from there we're gonna prep our yarn. So you get these little packages of yarn and they're all the same. They have the same amount of all the strands of each color, but you need to separate them. This is the most important step of the entire prep um, extravaganza because there's exactly amount, maybe a strand or two extra, the amount of each color that you need uh, to go with your design. And some colors can be really similar, like this orange is similar to this kind of rusty color. So you wanna make sure that you match it up ahead of time so that you don't run out. Because there's a tendency, I know that I'm tempted to just, you know, start going. I like to just dive in. Don't do that, disaster will ensue. So what you wanna do is you wanna separate them. And I really like just using a muffin tin. Um, it makes it really simple so nothing's flying away. Then if you're using your kitchen table or whatever to work at, it's easy to just lift this up and clear it off if you need it for something, uh, need the table for something else. So once you've separated all of your yarn, you can take a look at your instructions. Now you've got full instructions which will show you how to do what I'm telling you, but also there's this color legend. And we suggest that you take a strand of each color and match it up with the box. Every color has a little square. One square equals one knot on, on the grid, and I'll show you that in a second. And then there's a little symbol to differentiate just in case the colors are close together. So you wanna match them up and tape it next just so there won't be any question. If you get confused by, you know, by a couple colors that are similar, you can also look at strands. There's the total strand number, and so you'll be able to see 689 strands versus the next color is 90. They're both in the turquoise family, but you'll be able to look just eye that one is significantly more yarn. You can see that here. Significantly more yarn of one color than the next. So once you've done that, you get to look at your chart. So as I mentioned, each square is one knot and you can see that the symbols correspond to what I was just talking about. And you're gonna start from your lower left-hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my canvas back in. And you can count, bring this back in really quickly, you see these same grid lines, so you know that I just told you there's 10 squares per, per gridded square. So we know there's 10, 20, 30, 40 in this whole design. So I just wanna make sure on this canvas that I have 40 to work with. So if I start right here, I'm gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40. I think this is a great place to start. So my little chart says start at that corner. So I'm gonna start right here. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the actual latch hooking. First thing you wanna do is you wanna pull the colors that you're going to need for each row and you'll use your chart to correspond. And you can get the same amount of strands out ahead of time. 
I need three of the darker brown color, which means that I need, you know, 37 of the um, light aqua color. And you can count all those out ahead of time. And then that way you don't have to deal with, you know, getting in your groove and then accidentally pulling the wrong one. So we know that from our chart, and you can see it says it on the directions, it says to start here at that lower left hand right corner. And because we also know that these uh, grid lines mark every 10 knots, we know there's 10, 20, 30, 40. So 10, 20, 30, 40, we are in good shape. That means we start here, which is that first knot. To do that, we wanna take our tool and we wanna take a piece of yarn that corresponds with the color on our chart, wrap it around the tool evenly, and then insert the latch hook underneath one of the little grid line pieces. And then you wanna lay that yarn over the actual latch and pull. And you'll see that the latch closes. And if you let go of those tails of yarn, it pulls it through. You set down your hook and then you just pull it so it's tight. Okay, let me show you again. So our next one we will be the next block on our chart. We're gonna wrap our piece of yarn around the hook, around the tool, and then we're gonna go slide on in there, lay those strands over the latch, and pull through, and then give it a little tuck. And you're just gonna do that all the way across following. And then, what I like to do, I normally wouldn't do it until I was done with the whole row, but you could do it one at a time, is just take a pencil and mark off when I've completed the row. You could do that with a highlighter too or whatever. And then, and then you won't need to figure out where you are when you pick it up later. And you're just gonna continue until your entire project is all finished. That's all there is to it. Happy hooking. And don't forget to check out wonderart.com for finishing tips and more latch hook kits.